One of the biggest problems that most hoopers have is they're a practice player. They have the moves, they have the skills, they have the confidence in practice and workouts, but the second the game comes, it all goes out the window. So in this video, I wanna cover why that is and exactly how you guys can fix that. One of the things that is causing you guys to be this practice player is your overthinking and your nervousness when it comes to playing games. Again, a lot of this comes to training, but there are some things that you guys can do as you're stepping into games to kind of combat this. One way we can combat this is with our breath work. So when we get nervous, when we start overthinking, we're often not in the moment, right? We're thinking about a future event. We're thinking about what would happen if we mess up, right? We're not here and now, but we're in the future. We're thinking about what's going to happen down the road. So one of the ways that we can combat this is with our breath work to take us back to being in the moment. When we're in the moment, it's tough to be nervous because we're not thinking about the future. And this breath work will really just help us zone us into the moment and focus on our breath. So breath work can be as simple as box breathing where it's five seconds in, hold for five, out for five, hold for five. And you just keep repeating that, really just focus on your breath. Again, this is going to get you back into the moment, take you away from thinking about a million different things, get you in the moment. And then that's where a lot of that overthinking and that nervousness is going to kind of go out the window. Now, another way that you guys can start to combat this is just simple meditation. Now, this can be one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes a day. Again, just training your ability to be in the moment. But another common problem that we see is confidence issues. You have the moves, you have the skills, you have the confidence in practice and workouts, but you don't necessarily have it in game. So how can we improve our confidence when it comes to stepping in games? One of the things that we could do that I find to be very beneficial is visualization. So this can be done before the game, this can be done the night before, and this could be something you do daily and it takes no equipment whatsoever. All you are going to do is visualize yourself succeeding on the court in the exact situations you want to succeed in. So there's been numerous studies linking this to increased performance and something that I've also seen anecdotally with some of the players that I train. So all you need to do, again, sit down, close your eyes and visualize, say you have a game the next day, visualize yourself performing to the highest level that you want to and make it as realistic as possible, all right? When we're visualizing, the more realistic we make it all feel where we're hearing the sounds of the game, we're seeing everything vividly, imagining the ball in our hands, we're dribbling, we're shooting, whatever we're doing, and we're just picturing exactly what we want to happen and picture ourselves succeeding to the highest level. Now, the brain doesn't really know the difference between what's real, what's fake. If you're visualizing it, it essentially takes it as the same thing. So this is a way to almost trick your brain into being more confident in these high pressure situations like games. Now we also made a video on confidence recently that I think is extremely important. So we'll link that up here. You guys can check that out after this video. Now for the most important part of you being a practice player, this all comes down to your training. Now I think most of you guys are gonna say, no, 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 I'm training right, right? I'm, I'm training at full speed. I'm doing game action stuff, right? It's simply not enough. If you're a practice player, there is something that is wrong with your training. The game is extremely fast paced. The game is chaotic. The game is unstructured. There's a lot of things that goes on. It's loud, coaches yelling at you. There are so many different factors that are going on in the game, but oftentimes your training looks like stationary controlled ball handling, spot shooting with zero pressure, making moves with no defense, not having to read the environment, with no teammates on the floor, making layups. Even if you're going full speed, you're not reacting to anything. There's no pressure. There's no consequences if you miss. So obviously when you step into the game, you're not gonna see results. It's not gonna transfer right away. Or you're dribbling past cones, or you're dribbling on mats, and that just simply does not mimic the game. So no wonder you can't just go from this to the game and see it stick, right? It's the same thing if all you do is practice driving in a parking lot, right? You practice parking when there's zero cars, you practice driving on the highway when there's no one there. And then all of a sudden you have to drive during rush hour, you're gonna be freaking out because you didn't actually start to build it up and represent what it's really like to drive. It's the exact same thing. So we need to train under chaos. We need to find ways to challenge ourselves. We need to find ways to add even just a little bit of nervousness to our training. And that is gonna help us transfer even more. So overall, the reason why your stuff isn't transferring, the reason why you're a practice player is because you're training one thing. You're training the do. There's three parts to a skill, the read, the plan, the do. You are covering this and you've done it to a great degree, right? You have the skills, that's great. We need to build that, but you're missing the other two parts. So now if you can simply start to add in small-sided games, live training with defense, more one-on-one, -on -one, more pickup, you're gonna start to combine that first two parts of the skill and complete that skill. So if you already have the skill, that's great. You already are one part of the process, but again, you're missing the other two things. So what can we do about this? How can we take your skills and make it transfer to the game so you guys are no longer a practice player? Like I said, include pickup. How many days a week are you guys playing pickup? 
zero, let's increase that to at least one, maybe even two times a week. If you already got this down, if you got this part to do, we need to overload with more realistic training, more realistic pickup, more small sided games. So find a partner. If you're training by yourself every single day, at least two days a week, make it competitive. Have a partner to work out with. Work on the same moves that you're working on, but with real defense, with that pressure that, okay, if I mess up, I'm gonna get this ball stolen. If it's not full speed, it's gonna get stolen. If I don't do the right thing at the right time, it's gonna get stolen. So keep working on the skill stuff, keep working on the technique stuff, but two to three days a week, small side of games, one to two days a week, start including pickup and slowly start to get away from a little bit less skill work, right? If you already have it, doing more isn't necessarily gonna make you no longer a practice player. It's not gonna just make it transfer. You can keep hitting your head against the wall. It's simply not gonna work. We need to do something different. So you need to understand just doing the technique, just doing game speed reps, right? At game spots is simply not enough to see a transfer. If it was, almost all of you guys watch wouldn't have this problem but it's simply just not that easy so find a way to start working on all of these things and i promise you guys you guys will start to see more results in a game because at the end of the day that's what we're all training for right we're not training to have more skills we're training to get more results to get a scholarship and you certainly don't get that by just being able to do moves in practice so if you like the video if you want to see more things like this drop a comment drop a like we really appreciate it see you soon peace